Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Forenza, aka the girl with big hair. I'm back with another video, but y'all already know. Y'all know what I'ma say. What I'ma say. Click on that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button next to it so that you can get notified when I post a new video. Today I wanted to come to you guys with a foundation routine video. I don't think I've ever done one of these on my channel, but I want you to see what I do to achieve a uh, flawless, um, full coverage look. Um, I've been looking at some of my most recent videos and I've realized that a couple times I have not had um, the best foundation application or rather it didn't come off in the best way on camera um, as you know my skin has been or the uh, skin on my face has been a different color than the skin on my neck. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I typically do to make sure that I have a flawless match both on my skin, on my face, and on my neck. Um, but also what I do to get a, um, a pretty smooth finish because um, I have very textured skin. I have very acne prone skin and scarred skin. So I'm going to show you guys what I do to cover up those flaws and get a flawless um, foundation look. So if you're interested in seeing what I do, make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting off with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is my holy grail. I'm always using this, and I'm just putting it all over my face. Then I'm going in with the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette in the color Deep. And I'm actually taking the orange shade from there and mixing it a little bit with the deepest shade, the contour shade, um, to give it a deeper orange and I'm putting that all over my dark spots my scars my under eyes around my mouth that gets a little darker so normally because my dark spots come off a little more red I should probably use a green corrector you always use the opposite of the color that your dark spots come off as so for this I probably should have used green So here you see me testing my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 330 Toffee. As you can see, it's not an exact match, but it works. Um, when you have a foundation that's not exactly your color, uh, what I would suggest is after blending it out on your face, you know, in the inner part of your face and the outer part, just go ahead and take your sponge and take whatever excess you have and go over your ears your neck underneath your chin um even go as far as you know to go in your chest because um you know depending on what you're wearing you may see your chest as well this color is just slightly off so i did do that so now i'm using my color pop concealer in the color dark 40 yes i know it's not a dark shade but i'm just using that to cover up any additional dark spots i have or any coverage that didn't get covered with my foundation and now I'm taking medium dark 32 um, to highlight my face. I could have gone a little bit lighter with the concealer, but it's fine. Then I'm gonna go back into that NYX palette and add that darkest shade to my cheeks. And then I'd mix the dark shade with a lighter brown shade uh, for my nose because I didn't want my contour to be too like snatched. This is really important. With my um, Angle Kabuki brush, I actually blend my contour upward i know that sounds crazy but i kind of stroke it upward um to get the effect that i like i feel like that's the best way to um blend out contour so that it looks as natural as it should i'm using my sasha buttercup light powder to uh, set those areas that i highlighted i probably should have used a translucent powder here but i really love the color that um, the banana powder gives me and it kind of matches my undertones then I just use my no filter powder to set the rest of my face and then I go in with my matte bronzer to warm up my face a little bit um, I've actually stopped um, bronzing around my forehead just because it can be a little harsh especially now that I have short hair um, but I do normally do this even when I have long hair then I'm just gonna set my face this is really important take your sponge and just go back over nothing on your sponge just go back over your skin after you sprayed it this really helps the makeup to set into your skin um, and look like skin again 
And this is my favorite highlighter from Juvia's Place. I just highlight the high points of my face. And then I realize I put too much and use my sponge again. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, this is what I do every single time I put my makeup on. Um, sometimes I might use a different shade, but for the most part, this is it. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the girl W big hair and make sure you like comment and subscribe. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.